everyone and welcome to the 13th studio vlog edition. How is everyone doing today? I've got my little co-host here with me, which you will guys will see later because I always like to do my um, my spread with you guys first and foremost. This week I went um, pretty simple. I used a lot of um, these stickers that I have um, that come in this little set of like holiday stickers and stuff like that. Um, let's see if I can find the name so you guys know. It's called uh, Create365, the happy um, planner. It's the happy planner. So I like to use a lot of those because they're just nice and, and graphic and stuff like that. And then I add, um, I like to add the little uh, sticky note or memo or something on the one side so that I can write down goals and things for the week just so that I've got something that's like super in the foreground. So if you guys didn't know, in Canada it's Thanksgiving this coming weekend, or this um, Monday, so that's why I've got like a lot of give thanks and that kind of stuff going on. The other thing, um, by the way, hi and welcome back to another studio vlog. I always forget to do this. I always get extremely distracted by things, but thank you guys for coming by another uh, studio vlog. If you don't know much about me, hello, hi, I am Candice and I work full time in the animation industry and I like to, uh, in my free time, work on drawing and stickers and just progressing my art journey in this crazy thing called life. Um, but yeah, so the big things to note this week is I want to work on my Patreon wallpaper today and let's see if I can come up with like some new ideas and concepts for what I want to do for next month's sticker update just because I, I like doing a sticker update monthly. I want to see if maybe I can do something a little bit not as much as this past month because I, I felt a little bit overwhelmed. So I want to be a little bit more realistic with my goals and expectations for myself. Um, cause the last thing you want to do is just burn yourself out. So you want to find a good, happy medium, right Blaze? He's just really loving looking up at me while I talk right now. It is just absolutely precious. I love this cat so much. <laughs> If he could just live on my lap constantly while I work, I would definitely be okay with these problems. But it's not a problem to me, little one. You just come on my lap whenever you want. But yeah, so um, I'm excited to see what this week brings, but it is now time for the hubby and I to go walk a puppy. So I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye everyone. I ended up working on a drawing that I was going to give to my patrons as the wallpaper this month and it was Ollie on a cupcake but I really didn't like the way it ended up so I decided that I would just kind of forego this and like I had have mentioned in the uh, video coming up here that I had some time to play with considering the network was down for work for maybe like two three hours so I ended up just sitting and doing a whole bunch of drawing which I couldn't be happier to have worked on so you know, it. I'm, I'm happy I completed it, but at the same token, I wasn't really happy with the, the look or the execution anyways, so I didn't feel comfortable giving this as a Patreon reward. And now it's just an image that I worked on, you know, which is totally fine because this is how we get better by doing over and over and over again, right? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm just about to start stream. It's been a busy, very busy evening, so I haven't had time to um, to really 
pick up the camera and vlog yet. Um, one good thing, kind of good and bad, work. Um, we couldn't get on the network at work today for a good chunk of the morning, so I was able to work on, let me show you guys, this cute little image. Oh. So this is for my patrons. There you go, you can see it. Um, this is for my patrons. For this month it's a digital download wallpaper for your phone and um, I'm really happy with how it turned out so um, every time I look at my phone it just brings me joy I'm super excited about it but I'm going to be oops, there goes my headphones I'm going to be drawing through um, the happy people book as well as the drawing every day with my community and then I want to see if I can get going on some of the um, the sticker sheet for my patrons for next month as well as let's see how far we get and see if we can work on some more for the next month um, but yeah I had some delicious curry cauliflower that I made tonight and I'm just in a really good mood today all right so I'm gonna get streaming I'm already a touch late don't tell anyone Shh. <laughs> bye guys I'll see you tomorrow hey everyone and welcome back it is Wednesday and I just wanted to show you some fun things that I've been doing with my um, community on um, on Twitch. So I have been working through the little mushrooms. I ended up doing the line art. So here is what they look like for my patrons for next month. Um, I was also working on... Um, this sticker sheet for next month as well just because I love fall so much and I know I'm I'm in Canada but I'm kind of taking advantage of the fact that in the US there is American Thanksgiving so I'm like fall runs into November but really in Canada we generally think of like after October it's winter <laughs> but uh, anyways, then there's that and then I wanted to also use the I really like some of these stickers I came up with on my past um, Cozy autumn sticker sheet. So I was thinking about making this into um, a washi tape sampler uh, I'm really excited about doing that. So the leaves will be one and then the tea cups and pot will be another so um, I would love to do washi tape, like legit full-on washi tape, but I am nowhere near big enough to do washi tape yet and to source and, and do any of that stuff. So for now, I'm just going to do like little sampler pages and do them from home just so that one, it's mailed flat and I don't have to worry about any problems like that as well as it's just... Um, easier to manage that way if I just keep doing them from home and I mean maybe I won't get there and that's totally fine that would totally be a really awesome goal if I could get to that um, I've also been doing the drawing a day so this is what we, I've been up to so far so every night I, I end up doing um, a drawing from my drawing a day book as well as I've been doing the drawing happy people I'm definitely not a big fan of doing these but I have a problem with drawing people so I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and doing this right now and doing the drawing a day um, or doing this as like a drawing a day as well with the drawing happy people I know that's not the case with it but I figured um, this is how I would do it and people keep asking me if I'm doing Inktober but this is my version of Inktober I'm I'm uh, drawing from these books for, well, for happy people as long as it lasts and then for the drawing a day for the whole year So I think I'm covered in the department of doing Inktober. The only sad reality is because of not doing Inktober. I don't um, You know, it's the idea of like finding new artists and people finding me and that kind of stuff But whatever I'm gonna not bother with that today's docket. We've got um, I want to do my podcast and then I also want to do um, a bit more of my drawing and refining what I want my um, next month's sticker sheets to be. Um, so I want to do one more sticker sheet 
And then I also want to do um, another set of die cut stickers. I kind of like that idea. Every month I'll come out with like two new um, sticker sheets as well as um, as well as like die cut stickers and then also whatever remnants I have left over from my Patreon also is going onto my Etsy shop. So this is only um, a for now type of thing. So because I, I cut out so many for my patrons, then uh, the leftover stock will go up on my Etsy shop. And then once it's sold out, that's it. I do not sell any more of the, um, the Patreon stock. I would like to make it Patreon exclusive, but um, I my Patreon is still really small, but definitely once I get to a um, higher number of patrons where it's like, um, I just don't want to waste paper is the reality. So I'm trying to um, utilize like how many things I have per, how many images I have per page and what type of paper I'm using and all of that good stuff. So the minimum is at least four, at least when it comes to um, sticker pages and then uh, I can get more on a page when it comes to die cut stickers so I just have to keep um, a close eye on that but um, eventually I would like to make it exclusive so once we get to that part I am super looking forward to that but anyways okay guys I've got to get going on the podcast and um, dinner walk a puppy and do some art so I will see you guys in a little bit goodbye Hey everybody, I actually did my research and looked at the, oh, you know what? The audio for this is really loud. I think I need to turn this down. Oh my gourd, let's do this again. Behind the scenes. Okay, let's try this. Hello and welcome to the 12th podcast edition of my, for my patrons words. Um. So I actually looked to see what number we were at. Do you know what's so weird? Is this is the number of studio vlogs I have right now too. What are the odds of that? That just, I don't know, that seems really weird to me. Let me just, I'm noticing my volume is a little bit down. So I'm just gonna turn it up just a little smidgen. But um, it is the end of my work day. Hello and welcome to hump day. Um, but yeah, I thought we would talk about getting outside of your comfort zone today and just um, trying different things. I've talked about this on a stream before and I think it's so important. It's just so easy to get really complacent and the complacency of life and just how easy everything is. I ended up also doing a uh, craft night on Wednesday night with a whole bunch of, or a couple of friends. One that I, I know in IRL and another one that's one of her friends. And then I had another friend stop in for a little while. So it was really nice to just hang out and draw. So that's what you're seeing right here is me hanging out and uh, working on my art. Oh my god, you could see a cute kitty being adorable in the back. But anyways, um, so it was kind of busy because I did the podcast and then I, you know, made dinner and then um, had enough time to to do um, my craft night with a whole bunch of my friends. So I'm really happy I ended up doing the craft night. Um, I'm just getting some designs here for, I, I decided I would add a little soup to my sticker sheet that's going to be coming out for next month. And so I wanted like a Chinese soup spoon, um, which can hold a lot more soup. So that's what I ended up wanting to draw in this. Um, I ended up doing it over a couple of times just because I wasn't really satisfied with the outcome of it. But... This week's been kind of weird because I didn't really, f I, I actually know I didn't film anything else after Wednesday and that being said, that's because on uh, Thursday all that happened was uh, busy working, walking the pup and then stream and then um, then after that on Friday it was super busy because right after work we walked a puppy, grabbed some dinner but then we left dinner and go did a whole bunch of groceries because this weekend, if you guys didn't know at the beginning of the vlog, like I said, it was Canadian Thanksgiving. So I needed to make a pie and make a savory pie. Uh, the pumpkin pie was for Chris's family and then the savory pie was for my family. Uh, needless to say, they both turned out fan freaking tabulous. And then this was footage from today. 
Um, so today's Monday and um, today's a holiday in Canada. So hubby and I, I really wanted us to get going on some yard work because it was much needed yard work. Um, we needed to prep everything for the fall, which means taking out all of the old things that don't grow back and also pull out all the weeds and things like that. So um, we first started in the backyard and, and um, so I call it Falls Bounty, just like Animal Crossing, because we got a lot of um, vegetables. We got uh, two hot peppers that aren't exactly ready yet. Um, another pepper that ended, it's supposed to be a red pepper, but it's an albino pepper, you'll see it at the end. And then um, also a whole bunch of tomatoes. So um, we decided it was worthwhile to just get rid of everything that we don't need in the garden because I mean technically we could just leave it all but at the same token I'm like when are we gonna have time to do this again because if you guys can't tell hubby and I are very busy in our um IRL day life uh in the animation industry so I thought you know what let's just get it all taken care of now and the cool thing about the tomatoes is you can just leave them inside in a um, cardboard box not covering each other like all in one layer and if you leave them in a cold dark place you can have them for a very long time so I decided you know what let's just pick it all and just do that with it because we have a lot of green tomatoes right now I've got like three uh, decent sized um, paper or our cardboard boxes which is insane and then we also uh, this is the first year after six almost seven years of us living here um we finally ended up going to um home depot at, in the fall time which we almost never do and there was a whole bunch of different bulbs like um hyacinths and tulips and trumpet flowers and that kind of stuff so i really wanted to get a whole bunch of those in the ground so we did that in the front cleaned up everything that was dead and ugly in the front as well and then also put out all of our halloween decorations so it's been a crazy day i gotta say i i know this is a weird vlog i didn't really have as much footage as usual and like always i want to say thank you to my patreons because if it wasn't for you i would not be doing what i'm doing right now and and I am so ecstatic. I couldn't be happier with everyone. And um, I will see you guys on the next studio vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you got to this far, say tomatoes in the comment section below. You guys are the best. And I can't wait to talk to you again on the next studio vlog or on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Bye, guys.